there's some new art in downtown Oshkosh. And our Emily Byer shares more on the mini mural project. Bright, beautiful, detailed works of art are sprinkled through downtown Oshkosh. It's all part of the city's first outdoor gallery, the mini mural project. So this is our attempt at inviting uh, creativity and local artists to try to um, be able to have a stage to express themselves. 20 local artists have their digitally printed art installed on brick walls, donated by the building owners and a combination of private donations, in-kind work from Art City Wraps, and the Eat for Art campaign, which was that one dollar that was collected from each meal during Oshkosh Restaurant Week. Trying to be uh, an expression of our community and hopefully of joy and of uh, colorful things and a little bit, unfortunately, to distract us from the other things that are going on. And when you head to visit Oshkosh.com, you can take a closer look at the virtual map and get to learn a little bit more about the artists. To give them an outlet to be able to express and showcase what they've done, that I think, in, in my mind, that, that's part of what an artist needs, is a dialogue between community or between uh, uh, you know, a viewer and the project. Like a temporary tattoo, the art will be removed after three years, which organizers say is great to preserve the historic downtown district. It is very historical, and so we are trying to be courteous and conscientious of that as well. So how can we get artwork up and still be able to save the area or allow artwork to be changed? We're going to remove it, there will be no damage to the walls, and then we'll do it another time while fellow art lovers can enjoy exploring. You can bike it all at once, you can walk it all at once, but you have to find all these little hidden treasures that are from our local community. In Oshkosh, Emily Beyer, NBC 26. All right, thank you, Emily. And on visitoshkosh.com, they included several helpful tips on how to social distance while downtown. We have that linked on our website for you, nbc26.com.